Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. Vampires? Why would you ask me about those filthy creatures? That bastard. Seri Dodez accused me of being a vampire? Me? Ah! He's the one who is the vampire. I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. I... I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I've forgotten my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time, I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Ralphina. Yes, I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Ralphina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. Then suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Serido. He became startled for a moment and tossed Ralphina aside. She fell to the ground and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. I was no equal to Serido. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Thank you. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. Remain leery of Seridor. He's much more cunning than you may suspect. 